You straddled both bluegrass and country, and they are different worlds. It's something I, I was sort of aware of when I was still in Europe, but didn't only saw when I live, was living here, how yeah. different those worlds are. Right. But in both of those worlds, you managed to stay who you are. To what a trip do you attribute that? Is that sort of the education you got as you were growing up? Is that personality? Can you teach somebody that? I think it's probably an ignorance that I was in a musical family and we're it's all for one and one for all. And I grew up in this musical family and then I got to a point where I came to Nashville and when they asked me to sing a song that was everything I was not, um, about drinking, about you know um, smoking, uh, sexual innuendos, and I, and I blatantly just came out and said, I would never sing that. And that was the beginning of the end, I believe, for in country music because I was so honest and just totally ignorant of the fact that I just upset the heads of my career. <laughs> Yeah, in country music. Is that that's how is, they do things around it here. Is, yeah, that's yeah, that's not how we do things around here. That's exactly right. Now they never said that to me. Mm-hmm. Um, they said okay, but I'm sure behind closed doors it's like okay, we won't be working. She's too hard to get along with. She, we're not working. And it, I wasn't intending to be hard to get along with at all. I was just knew I wouldn't. I I wouldn't sing that. I don't live that, and I don't sing that. My father always said. Um, it was always open to us. He said, if you want to smoke, if you want to drink, you want to try drugs. Yeah. Um, he said, bring it home, we'll all try it together. I never, ever wanted to do that. Because it's available. It, it was, I guess so, yeah. yeah. I guess.